Our next case is a reenactment from the files of the South Carolina Highway Patrol. It's a story of Trooper John Honeycutt, who challenges two brutal murderers. Trooper Honeycutt himself tells us his own real story. Get the BCR, get it. Spaghetti. Bill Ferguson has just picked up his wife and to go home for lunch, something they like to do once a week. Because the burglars have parked on the street, the couple doesn't realize what's going on inside their house. What's that? The gunmen think they've killed the couple. Bill Ferguson is dead, but his wife has survived, the bullet only grazing her neck. She manages to crawl to the front door in time to get a description of the getaway truck. Ridgeland police officer Bill White has heard the call about the shooter and is the first one to spot the truck. Officer White immediately radios county dispatch and keeps them informed of the killer's moves. South Carolina State Highway Patrol Trooper John Honeycutt is waiting for the killers to reach a rest area on I-95. Officer White signals to Trooper Honeycutt to take the lead. North Carolina on Baker Baker 8465, Baker Baker 8465, North Carolina. The driver speeds out of the rest area. The two men are both prison escapees. The driver was doing time in North Carolina where he stole the truck. His accomplice was serving time in Florida for burglary. As the pursuit continues, the truck suddenly pulls ahead. But seconds later, the convicts pull off the road in an attempt to lose the officers in the woods. The two killers head for the woods when we come back. Two escaped convicts brutally murder a man and seriously wound his wife when the couple catches them robbing their house. South Carolina Highway Patrol Trooper John Honeycutt and Ridgeland Police Officer Bill White have caught up to them, but are under fire. Ah! Here you are, I got a man down here. Got a man down. The fugitive driver leaves his partner behind, and Trooper Honeycutt is joined by Sergeant Gary Rozier. John, what's got, going on? Got a man down, one in the woods. You okay? Yeah, okay. All right, hold on right here. Sergeant Gary Rozier takes charge. One of the killers was killed instantly when he dropped his shotgun while trying to escape over the fence. A tracking dog unit with additional troopers arrives to comb the woods for the fugitive convicts. A short time later, the killer runs right into the troopers. Ann Ferguson made a complete recovery after her brush with death. The surviving murderer was sentenced to two life terms for felony burglary and homicide. Trooper Honeycutt has been promoted to corporal. He now heads up the ACE Team Drug Enforcement Unit for the South Carolina State Highway Patrol. Sergeant Rozier is now in his 15th year with the South Carolina State Highway Patrol.